who really managed this fight. Monsignor Gerard Karuma, we are very, very grateful for the way you handled the fans. Christ the King Church is one of the few churches in the Archdiocese of Kampala, if not in Uganda, which produces audited books of accounts. So we have that level of experience. On behalf of the parish council and my own behalf, I wish to extend our gratitude to all the parishioners and other, other well wishers for your patience over the years when we were praying from the Cardinal Wamara Hall and the Platinum House Park. Do you remember those days? Those days are behind us. Some of you used to call it exile. Okay, fine, we are now back home. But at least we are here. You remained steadfast in your faith until April this year when we came into this church. Your generous contributions made this possible within a short time. Within a short time, you had mobilized the funds that enabled us to have the pews made and installed. These pews, we started making these pews uh, around May. And you can see that the whole church is full of pews. But still, the contributions came from you. We did not touch church, church funds. The contributions came from somebody who bought one, a single seater pew, two seater, three seater, five seater, and the seven seaters. We extend our thanks to the team of experts who work with the architect to get this work done. These include the structural engineers, associated consulting engineers, the quantity surveyors, subcon associates, the electrical and mechanical consultants, who are multi consultants. This new church is bigger and fixed to the state of the art equipment like the PS system, even if it has been failed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You can see the screens around us. They are not for the Premier League matches, no. <laughs> we, have, we, shall be, we shall be streaming the songs and the readings on these screens to increase the liturgical participation. But we also have plans of doing live streaming of Mass. For those people who want to follow Mass from wherever they are, we shall be using this technology. In a way, we are going paperless. I would like to thank the Friends of Christ the King who are behind organizing this function. In a special way, I want to recognize Mr. Dave Walukali who is seated in front of you. <laughs> Mr. Kasos is not singing today. He's involved in the preparations. You will prove his skills when you go for the reception. Uh, in a special way, I also want to recognize Mr. Robert Marino. I don't know whether he's in the church, who is at the reception venue, and all the other teams which have been meeting tirelessly to make this function a success. Thank you very much. I also want to thank the choir. I know one time the choir was complaining, that is a twinner uniform, what? Sente de Musita. But now at least. We launched a very serious fundraising drive and got you those uniforms. I want to thank my deputy, Mr. Rina Alex, for having been very good. <laughs> for having been a very good mobilizer to get those uniforms. I think our, church, our choir is smart. <clears throat> I wish to pay tribute to the faithful departed who, who look forward to praying in this church but did not make it. I will start with the members of the building committee. Mr. Pascal Akahanda died on Easter Monday, yet we had entered the church on Good Friday. And shortly after that, architect said, no, also pastor. So as members of the building committee, we were becoming worried who was next. <laughs> so, so somehow we have made it to be a governor also of sorts. But we want to extend, we want to pay tribute to our departed. Colleagues, Architect St. Togo, Mr. Pasco Makahanda, Mr. Pantale Ugabinaga, Mrs. Okuja, Uchara Soro Mewano Sindi, Mera Nibe Tumiza, a very veteran singer, Patrick Mberenge, another veteran singer, Tony Muyingo. We had a very active Asha called Patrick Oburu. And lately, even yesterday, the Archbishop was here to pray for one of our Christians who died. And she, she's being buried in Arua today. Uh, and 
Madame Judith Ali. Her body is today in Arua. May their souls rest in peace. Uh, during, during the when the parish priest was moving around the church, the priests were three, but they are normally four. So there is a notable absent, and that is Monsignor Joseph Mugabe. Monsignor Joseph Mugabe is in the hospital, and we put him in our prayers, we pray for his quick recovery. You know, you know Monsignor Mugabe is very popular with the confession, confession boxes, and I know some of you prefer to go to Monsignor Mugabe, because you don't want your voices to be identified. But Monsignor Mugabe is recovering in the hospital. On a lighter note, uh, during our fundraising at Botea Hotel, there was a lady who expressed a very serious concerns about the Jambula tree. There's a Jambula tree outside the church. She was very, very worried that the Jambula tree would be cut. Because that's why she met her husband. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I, wa I want to address that lady today. The Jambula tree was spared. <laughs> That's the one you we saw, we saw the other time. Yeah. I come and take photos of the Jambula tree, but I don't think it is about to be cut. After here, please join us at Kingdom Kampala for our grand reception. Yeah. Uh, we wish you all your masses when you are traveling back to wherever you came from. And we look forward to maintaining these numbers for our Sunday masses. Yeah. I hope you continue coming here to Christ the King. When, when you come, our connection is improved. We shall build in the church. Uh, with those few remarks, I wish you all the best for the coming week and at the reception. Thank you very much.